Lately, I found myself thinking a lot about portraits. Something about them is fascinating to me, and I can't seem to put my finger on what exactly it is that I'm looking for in them. I, I can't decide whether it's the lighting and shadows, or the texture of the skin, or the form of the head. There is something about them that I like, and I can't quite name it. Maybe it's something else entirely. Maybe it's not something I can put a word onto, but just have to figure out by doing. And I am here to do. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint another portrait and see if I can't put my finger on what exactly it is that interests me about them. Or why, maybe it's because of the whole classic, you know, we see portraits all the time in the Renaissance biz, right? I, I don't know. Maybe it's a cultural thing. I can't put my finger on it, like I said, but I want to. And that's what I'm here to do. That's my mission. Right away, I have to level with you here. I did something really stupid. Now, I know you're watching and you're like, hey, what the hell, man? You just painted them green. Are you making an alien? No, it was supposed to be an undertone, something that would come through and you wouldn't actually notice it. Uh, and it didn't really work out. It may work for others, or maybe it's for oil painting, not acrylic, who knows. Um, it was recommended upon me, and I immediately discovered that I don't really like doing that. Maybe, like I said, I could be doing it wrong. Maybe it's the wrong medium, or I'm just, you have a super small brain, that it did not work out for me, and I'm not going to be doing that anymore. What possessed me to even try this was the fact that the subject has a very fair skin tone, like very olive and pale, um, and it was extremely hard to do. Even, like, this first layer is far too dark and reddish. But even by the end product, I don't think it was as pale as the subject was, but it was enough that I was happy with how the piece looked, even though it didn't resemble what I was going off of. Which is cool. I like the ability that I'm able to alter the source material to fit the way that I want it to look. Okay, so here's the deal. This so far looks absolutely horrendous. And it is an early stage in the process, of course, but I'm going to sit here and I'm going to fix it because I can't stand to look at it like this. And like I said, I kind of got to trust that I'll be able to work it out and that it'll turn out better than it is presently. I know that it will because there's no other direction to go but up, yet um, I still hate it. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to try and fix the skin and if it turns out even somewhat better. I'm going to turn onto, um, onto the hair, and hopefully it'll help. I don't know what word I'm looking for, I guess. Once it adds more into the picture, it'll make more sense to the brain, and then it'll turn out better. But I'm going to rely on that looking good first, because I can't rely on the hair to fake it and make it turn out better than it actually is. I don't know if that made any sense, but that's it. There seems to be a glimmer of hope. It's coming together somewhat now that I'm actually trying to put some details into there and I can I can sort of see the finish line. It's definitely coming up. I really need to fix, well, I mean, all of it. Like this still isn't perfect. I, I do want to do a lot of work there, but I really need to fix this area um, before I move on to the hair and to the shawl outfit thing that she's got going on there. Um, you'll see it once it comes closer, but I don't actually really need to fix the ear. But the point is, it's not hopeless, and I was hoping this would be the case, because... Uh, yeah, I, I think that's it. That's it for the checkup. Okay.
Well, I've been working on this for a couple of a couple good days now, um, and I think all is going well. It's definitely turning out fairly well. My problem is I don't feel like moving on to the hair or the outfit until I'm sure I'm happy with where the rest of her features are. But the problem with that is I don't know if I'll ever be truly satisfied with that. Um, the just all the shadows I've been creating, I can't get the, I, I don't want to say darkness, right? Um, it's too, like it's too brown, but I don't know what direction to go. Uh, I guess that's just my, my color skills aren't clearly where they need to be. But I want, I know that if I sit here long enough, I'll end up fixing it somehow, even if it's just mistake, 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 patch it with the, the one that works. Um, like I've been trying to add more, not depth, but I'm adding, trying to add the faint lights um, around here and on the bridge of the nose and the faint darkness on this side of the face. Down here it looks very painterly and here it just looks spotty because like the canvas is surface. Regardless, I, I've been trying to slowly render this out and it's taken me a while. It is definitely taking a bit longer than I was hoping. I would like this to be over with so I can move on, but I know that it's kind of the whole point is that it's a challenge, so off we go, I guess. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm moving on to the clothing because I'm sick of skin. I don't know if that made any sense, but that's what that's what we're going with. If you recall, at the start of this video, I asked why I love painting portraits. And throughout the process of making this painting and the video, I think I might have actually pinpointed it. The fact of the matter is, I'm bad at painting portraits. That's just the way that it is. As you've been watching, I'm sure that you've had critical moments where you noticed something was wrong. Which is perfect. That's actually a good thing. I notice those things as well. But the reason I consider that to be a good thing is that I'm noticing different parts from the last time I painted a portrait. I can notice the differences between my first attempts at portraits and this one. I can identify which skills have progressed and which details I'm locating that need to be fixed, or which ones I've been overlooking. And honestly, I, I like that. So, as imperfect as this painting is, for now, I like it. And it's gonna take a spot on my wall. If you so happen to have watched this far into the video, thanks, it means a lot. Had a lot of fun with this particular piece and want to try more, but these paintings can take weeks to film, so the support's appreciated. Consider following my Instagram where I post all the finished pieces, even if I don't record them. And finally, I hope you found enough value in the last nine minutes to like the video and comment. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.